Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am finally doing what I've been saying I will do for weeks now, which is incorporate some more sort of lifestyle videos onto my channel. Obviously up until this point I've been just a booktube channel, um, but I have said that I do want to incorporate more sort of lifestyle, health, fashion, basically anything that I feel like I want to add on my channel. I want it to just be a bit of everything that I'm passionate about um, and just really enjoyable for me at the end of the day is my channel and I just want to have some fun with it. So yeah, I will obviously still be uploading a lot of book videos because that is my biggest passion but I do want to start incorporating some other little bits and bobs in there as well. So today I have for you a little clothing haul which I'm really excited about. It's my first clothing haul so but yeah, basically, if you follow me on Twitter, if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know I've been having some health issues recently, which I'm finally starting to get some sort of diagnosis for. I'm being referred, getting tests, all that jazz, which is such a relief. And I will talk about that in more depth once I get a full diagnosis, because I do think it's it's helpful for other people who are going through the same sort of things to sort of hear other people's journeys, other people's issues. So yeah, that will be coming at some point, but it could be a few months down the line yet. I don't really know. Um... But yeah, because of that, the other night I was just feeling really sad and in pain, feeling sorry for myself and I did what any rational person would do. I went online shopping. So happened across Boohoo and I just picked up a few pieces that I'm going to share with you just now. You will notice that there is a very clear theme. I was clearly not feeling well when I bought these clothes because they are all comfy, cosy clothes, but to be honest, that's what I live in anyway. I love my comfy, cosy clothes. That's what I'm in all the time if I'm not at work or at some sort of a social event. So yeah, let's just get into it, shall we? So the first item that I bought, well, basically the first four items that I bought were are shorts because for the longest time I have not worn shorts at all because I've been very self-conscious about my legs. You will notice in all these cutaways I do have a lot of cellulite so if that's something that offends you maybe click off now. Um, it's something that I've been so self-conscious about for the longest time um, and I can't. I know I can make it slightly better through exercise and diet and things like that but at the end of the day it's my body and our bodies are beautiful. Like they don't. I don't have to have perfectly smooth legs to be beautiful. I know that. Um, so I have really come to terms with that, and I've been shown a lot of self love recently. And I realised that I am comfiest, happiest, most confident when I'm in shorts, even if that cellulite is out for everyone to see. But I've only had one pair of like comfy cotton shorts in my wardrobe because of that. Because I never wore shorts before, so I've been wearing them to death. <laughs> so I've finally picked up some other pairs of comfy shorts that I can just wear around the house, popping out to the shops, basically all the time <laughs> if I'm not at work or out somewhere. The first pair I got were these just basic cycling shorts. They're a charcoal colour. Um, they're such a nice soft material. Like, they're so comfy. They feel so soft on your skin. I wish you could feel them just now. Um, but yeah, they're lovely. They're incredibly basic there's not really much shape to them or anything um but yeah they're so comfy to wear and I can see myself putting these on a lot I'm also a big charcoal grey fan I have a lot of items this colour in my wardrobe so of course I had to pick up some in that colour next pair that I got were pretty much this they're just the same basic black cycling shorts um again they're cotton but these ones I'm not too keen on. You might be able to see in the little cutaway they are, I'm just going to like pull them through. Nah, you can't really see but they're incredibly see-through, like too see-through. They're just not for me. Um, I think what I really need to get is some of the sort of like slinky black cycling shorts because they're a lot thicker. Um, yeah, these are just too see-through so I do think these ones will be getting sent back unfortunately. Uh, but they're only like three pounds or something anyway so part of me just wants to keep them and just wear them around the house but I also feel because they're so see-through and because my bum has a tendency to rip through things they probably wouldn't last very long <laughs> so I don't know they're probably gonna get sent back and I'll maybe order some like thicker ones. The next pair I got I really like they're a bit shorter they're more I suppose they're more sort of like hot pants but they're like real they're really thin 
but I don't think they're too see-through. They're not as see-through as those ones. And again, they are so soft and they've got the woman logo, which I love, just along the leg there. These are incredibly comfy and I can see myself wearing these day in and day out. Probably not out and about, probably just around the house but they are so comfortable and again I think these were like four pounds or something like that, something ridiculous. Yeah I will be wearing the shit out of these. <laughs> um, in case anyone's wondering as well I got all of my shorts in a size medium or a size 10. That's just the size that will fit over like my hips, my thighs and my bum because I am sort of, that's those are my biggest areas. So I do get a size 10. Um, I've only actually moved to a size 10 in the past year because I've put on a bit of curve, which I'm actually very happy about. I like being a curvy lady. So, or a curvy R lady. I know I'm not the curviest lady in the world, but curvier than I used to be. <laughs> Then the final pair of shorts that I got in this haul are actually my favourite item out of this whole haul and that is these seamless grey, I suppose more gym shorts, They're, they remind me of like the Gymshark seamless range um, which I've always wanted but can't really afford <laughs> so I went for these instead um, but yeah they remind me of that. Again they have the sort of woman logo just running down the leg there um, and they're really nice and thick like they feel they actually feel like really good quality I think they'll last a long time because they're seamless they can't rip anywhere around my arse so that's a positive and again they are so incredibly comfy like these are my favorite ones um I can see myself wearing these to death probably just about every day they'll be going through the wash a lot <laughs> but yeah these are definitely my favorite pair my favorite thing out of the entire haul and I do think I'll be going back and getting more in other colours. I know they had them in like a bright blue as well, which is a bit different for me because as you can tell from this so far, I'm very much a neutral colour gal. So yeah, it would be a bit of a, an adventure for me, but I think I'm ready for it. So I might go back for those. They also had like a peachy colour, but I think they might have been sold out in my size. So perhaps not. But yeah, these are definitely my favourite thing. They're so comfortable especially because part of the things that I've been going for at the minute has been a lot of pain especially around my back and my stomach so to wear something nice and comfortable like this is just heavenly. So after I added all of those shorts to my basket then realised that I kind of needed some things to wear with said shorts because I don't really, I was going for a certain comfortable look of shorts and baggy tops but I don't actually have that many baggy tops. I have a couple of, uh, quite a few hoodies and sweatshirts but no sort of t-shirts or anything because basically I did have baggy t-shirts and then I went through this phase of cutting them all to crop them so they were all crop tops so now I don't have any comfy baggy t-shirts because you know what your fashion sense changes constantly. Well mine's does anyway. One minute I want one sense, next I want another. So yeah you just kind of have to go with it. So first of all I got two t-shirts. So I got this black one here so it's just plain on the front and then on the back we've got this blue and orange NASA print. Yeah I'm not going to read everything off it because I don't think it's really <laughs> necessary but yeah it's just this really cute print. It looks really nice on um, as you'll see in the cutaway. With this one I will probably wear it loose just over the top and um, just in the way it fits I really liked it like that but you could tuck it in as well um, and I did get this in a size 16 to 18 and I was, wasn't sure if it was going to be too baggy and um, I got it in that size basically because it was in the sale and that was one of the only sizes left and also because I wanted it to fit very baggy and um, so I actually really like the way it looks I think that it was I chose a good size might not be everyone's cup of tea but I'm really happy with it. Next I got this white tee um, which I love, it's one of my favourite things from this haul, it basically says women and then it says being kind is free and then the little writing at the bottom it says always find time for things that make you feel happy to be alive, may every single, may every sunrise bring you hope and every sunset bring you peace which I think is really cute. Again I think this looks really nice on, um, it's really really comfortable and people always say white is fat and so blah, 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 but I don't really care I just think it's really comfy and I think it looks nice. This one I will probably wear tucked into the shorts but again you could wear it just baggy but I quite like the way it looks tucked in so that's probably the way I'm gonna opt to wear it. Uh, but yeah it's just really light, really comfy, soft, easy to wear. All of these things are just easy to wear and comfy. That was the vibe I was going for in this haul. And the final two items that I got in this little haul are some amazing baggy sweatshirt jumper 
things, <laughs> which I already had a couple of, but I needed more in my life. And these two just stood out to me. So the first one I got is unsurprisingly, again, grey. Um, but it's so nice. It's oversized and I actually got it in medium as well. So it's probably like oversized, oversized, if that makes sense. But I really like the way it fits. Again, some people might think that it's too baggy, but it's my cup of tea. I like it and it's incredible. Incredibly cozy and comfy. I really like the way that it looks with the tie. Cycling shorts underneath. I have this like vision in my mind of wearing cycling shorts, a nice cozy jumper like this, and then like big chunky walking boots going for like a hike. Just feel like I like that vibe. I really like that look. So that will probably be happening a lot <laughs> when I eventually make myself go out for walks again. Um, but yeah, it's just this really comfy, cozy California kind. Of, I suppose it's kind of like a uni ripoff sweater in a way um, but it's so nice and soft on the inside and it's just a dream to wear and then the last thing I got is probably the most outrageous thing in the entire haul for me because as you can see everything I've bought has been neutral it's been white black and grey it's been very India and then I went a little bit out of my comfort zone with this one and I bought something bright orange but I absolutely love this I love the way it looks um, again, it's just so comfy, so cosy. Again, it's oversized, oversized. And I just absolutely adore it. Is it Atlanta, it says. Again, kind of like a uni rip-off jumper. Um, but it's just so comfy. Um, and I actually really like the orange. I actually think I quite suit it. So I might have to get some more orange things in my life. Yeah, so it's a little bit different for me, but... I'm willing to sort of go out of my comfort zone a bit and just find some new things. Um, again, it's so nice and soft on the inside. And again, I can totally see myself just living in this in the weeks to come. Again, it might not be your cup of tea. The arms are especially long, but I just really like that feeling like I've always been known throughout school, work, everything for being one of those people who like, I hold my sleeves over my hands like this and like curl my fingers over. So I always, if I have tops that like fit properly, that like sit there, it feels short to me. Like I want to be able to go like that and hold it. It's just like, I suppose it's like a comfort thing for me. Like I never had a teddy or something with thumb or anything like that, but I've always just gone like that with my sleeves. And I think I always will, to be honest. So these are perfect for comfiness. <laughs> So yeah, that is everything that I bought in this little Boohoo haul. Let me know down below what you thought of these items, if you if they're similar to your style, if they're a complete departure from your style. Let me know if you hated anything that I bought. That'd be quite interesting because like I know I love them, so it'd be I don't really mind if you hate them, I'd just be interested to know. Also, let me know what you thought of this style of video, if it's something that you want to see more of or not. I really enjoyed making it, I enjoyed doing something a little bit different and I do hope to be doing a lot more in the future as I have already said. As always, if you enjoyed the video then do please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more content, comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.